Ever wonder just how vast our universe truly is? Uh, pause for a moment and let that question sink in. When we talk about space, we're not just talking about a big empty void. No, it's much more than that. Space is larger than anything we can truly comprehend. You see, if you were to hop on a beam of light and zip across the cosmos, it would still take you a staggering 100,000 years to cross the Milky Way alone. That's right, just our galaxy, our cosmic neighborhood would take you longer to traverse than the entire span of human history. Imagine that. All of Earth's civilizations, from the ancient Egyptians to the modern day, unfolding hundreds of times over while you're still on your light speed journey. It's mind-boggling, isn't it? So if you're planning a road trip across the Milky Way, you might want to pack a few extra snacks. Did you know that space is actually silent? Yes, it's true. Space is the ultimate representation of peace and quiet. And there's a scientific explanation for this. You see, sound travels through the vibration of molecules in a medium like air or water. But space is a vacuum, which means it's devoid of any medium that could carry these vibrations. So even if you were to shout at the top of your lungs in the vast expanse of the cosmos, not a peep would be heard. Imagine it. A supernova could explode with the energy of a billion suns, and it wouldn't make a single sound. A spaceship could whiz past at incredible speeds and it would be completely silent. It's a concept that's both eerily beautiful and a little unsettling when you really think about it. That's right, in space no one can hear you scream or snore. How fast do you think light travels? It's not an easy question to visualize, but let's give it a shot. The speed of light is roughly 186,282 miles per second. Yes, you heard it right, per second. It's so fast that if you blink, you would have missed it traveling more than half the way around the globe. Now imagine this, the light from the moon, our closest celestial neighbor, reaches Earth in just over a second. That's right, the beautiful moonlight that you see has traveled a whopping 238,000 855 miles to reach you and it does this in a little more than a heartbeat but here's a fun twist even at this incredible speed light from our nearest star proxima centauri takes over four years to reach us so next time you're impatiently waiting for a text back remember even light speed has its limits have you ever heard of a cosmic vacuum cleaner welcome to the world of black holes the universe's most efficient tidying service these celestial phenomena are regions of space-time exhibiting gravitational pull so immense that nothing, no particles, no radiation, not even light, can evade their grasp. Imagine a star much larger than our sun collapsing under its own weight after burning out its nuclear fuel. This collapse causes a dent in the fabric of space-time so deep that we call it a singularity, a point of infinite density. The gravitational pull of this singularity is so strong that it forms an event horizon, a boundary beyond which nothing can escape. Now this might sound terrifying, but remember, black holes aren't wandering around the galaxy sucking up planets willy-nilly. They're quite stationary and only devour what comes too close. So, black holes, the universe's way of tidying up. Unfortunately, there's no escape once you're sucked in. Do you think space is cold? Well, let's dive into that. Space, my friends, is a bit of a drama queen when it comes to temperatures. It can't seem to make up its mind. You see, it swings both ways, from incredibly hot to extremely cold, depending on a few factors. Imagine you're floating around in space near a star, say, our sun. You'd be experiencing temperatures that could reach a few thousand degrees. Yes, you heard me right, a few thousand degrees. Now that's a summer vacation to avoid. But let's say you drift into the shadow, away from the sunlight. Suddenly, you're in a different world. A world where temperatures can plummet to a few degrees above absolute zero. That's colder than the coldest winter night you've ever experienced. So remember, space isn't just a simple chill, it's a deep freeze or a scorching oven. Have you heard of the universe's greatest mystery? Let me introduce you to dark matter, the elusive phantom of the cosmos. It's a bit like the Sherlock Holmes of celestial phenomena, always leaving clues but never showing its face. Now, dark matter isn't your everyday matter. It's not stars, planets, or even the dust between the stars. It's something entirely different. Scientists theorize that it's a new type of particle, one that doesn't interact with light or any form of electromagnetic radiation. So yes, it's quite the introvert. What's really mind boggling is that this unseen, unsocial particle makes up about 27% of the universe. Imagine that. More than a quarter of the universe is made up of something we've never seen 
and can't yet detect directly. It's like the universe's best kept secret, always there but never seen. The mystery of dark matter continues to baffle us, challenge us, and keep us searching for answers in the vast cosmic wilderness. Can you guess how old the universe is? Here's a hint. It's older than your great-great-great-grandmother, and yes, even older than that ancient fossil you found on your last summer vacation. Scientists, through their cosmic detective work, estimate that the universe is approximately 13.8 billion years old. Yes, you heard that right. Billion with a B. How did they come to this mind-boggling conclusion? Well, it's all thanks to something called the Cosmic Microwave Background, or CMB for short. This is the afterglow of the Big Bang. And by studying it, scientists can trace the universe's timeline back to its fiery birth. They also study distant galaxies. The further away they are, the older they are. By observing these galaxies, scientists can peek into the past and estimate the age of the universe. So, the universe has been around for a while, and it's not planning on going anywhere. Isn't that something to marvel at? Ever feel like you're alone in the universe? Imagine how Voyager 1 must feel. Launched back in the late 70s, this little spacecraft has been wandering the cosmos for over four decades. It's now the most distant human-made object from Earth, over 13 billion miles away. That's like traveling around the Earth over half a million times. Voyager 1 doesn't have any companions out there. Its twin, Voyager 2, is a few billion miles behind. There are no interstellar rest stops, no cosmic coffee shops, just the endless void of space. It's the ultimate road trip, with no pit stops, no detours, and certainly no U-turns. And yet Voyager 1 isn't completely alone. It carries with it the golden record, a message in a bottle tossed into the cosmic sea. It's a snapshot of life on Earth, our sounds, our images, our thoughts. So, next time you're feeling a bit lonely, just remember Voyager 1. Are we alone in the universe? This one question has sparked the curiosity of humans for eons. As we expand our understanding of the cosmos, we continually probe this profound puzzle. The search for extraterrestrial life is not just a sci-fi fantasy, but an ongoing scientific endeavor. Astrobiologists are diligently working to find signs of life beyond our home planet. Advances in technology have led to the discovery of exoplanets, planets beyond our solar system. Some of these distant worlds located in what's known as the Goldilocks zone have conditions that could potentially support life. This zone is not too hot, not too cold, but just right for liquid water, a key ingredient for life as we know it. The Kepler Space Telescope alone has identified over 2,000 such exoplanets. Each discovery brings a surge of excitement, a renewed hope that we might not be alone after all. So, while we may feel alone, the universe might be teeming with life we've yet to discover. What does the future hold for space exploration? That's the question that's been buzzing around the globe and the answers are as thrilling as they are varied. We're standing on the cusp of a new era, an era where humanity will traverse the vast expanse of space like never before. We're talking about manned missions to Mars where astronauts will set foot on a world untouched by human hands. Imagine that. A new home, a new frontier, a new beginning, but Mars is just the start. Our cosmic curiosity isn't satiated just yet. We're also planning to probe the outer reaches of our solar system and beyond in our relentless search for life. We're not just looking for little green men here, but for any signs of existence that could redefine our understanding of life as we know it. So, the future of space exploration is as vast and as exciting as space itself.